Ladies, gentlemen, and Haradrim of all ages, over the last few days and weeks of playing Diablo 4 Season 2, the main activity that I have found myself doing is farming Uber Duriel, the new Uber endgame boss added in this season that has a much higher than average chance of dropping an Uber Unique. If I am not killing Duriel himself, I'm farming materials so that I can do so. It's, it's just a never-ending loop that a lot of people are rightly quite fond of, considering it adds a proper, differently-feeling endgame activity compared to just Nightmare Dungeons, which is pretty much all that we had before. But the more that I farm Duriel, the more that I realized something. Somehow, by giving us an actual, realistic, and reasonable chance of getting uber uniques, they have created one of the biggest disappointment mines in the game, like a factory of sadness. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing inherently, I don't think it makes the whole system a negative by any means. I just find it very interesting that we have gone as a community from understanding the chances of getting an uber unique as an individual person were next to nothing, to the point that none of us ever really thought we would see one in any of our game time, so there was no point in thinking about them or worrying about them in any way. Now, however, we have Duriel to farm, and Duriel seems to have about an average of a 2% drop rate on uber uniques, meaning if you killed Duriel 100 times on average, you'd get 2 uber uniques, if you kill 1000, you'd on average have 20. In other words, one in every 50 times that you kill Duriel, you're likely to have one uber unique happen. Sometimes you'll get unlucky, and it'll take quite a bit more than that, sometimes you get lucky, and it happens instantly, but that is the average that we seem to have as a community. But the thing is, it sort of brings in a whole new issue. The beauty of this system is that it lets you actually try to farm in uber unique, which is really cool as they are exceptionally powerful items that basically just didn't exist for 99% of players before this was introduced. The problem with the system, though, is it gives you an actual realistic chance of farming an uber unique. What do I mean by that? Well, 1 in 50 kills is the average, but 50 kills in itself is quite a lot in the first place. And with the knowledge that it isn't at all impossible to happen on any given kill at a 2% rate, any time that Duriel dies, there's just an audible silence in the party as we all just get that little flicker of hope before it gets immediately dashed when everyone sees their items. On average, that is 49 lots of disappointment, some of them exceptionally disappointing if you ever happen to have two uniques drop at the same time, with neither of them being an uber unique, which does happen, and then in return, Turn, you get one big moment of satisfaction. But there's more to it than that, right? Because even before we talk about which you're being you happen to get, there's the consideration that 50 is only an average. I have heard tales of people going a whole 200 to 300 Duriel kills without ever seeing an uber unique. And while that is still possible, it's realistic given the percentage of 2%, it absolutely does suck if that happens, especially because it creates a real sort of gambler's fallacy. 1 in 50 odds does not mean that you get a better chance of getting one every time that you don't get one. You have an even 2% chance every single time you kill him. Sometimes that will go in your favor, sometimes it will absolutely not, but the issue with this is that someone may decide that this activity is worth their time because they think it will take around 50 kills. They will engage with it because they think that's the case, but then you do those 50 kills, and if you don't get one, now suddenly you feel like you're just on the cusp of having one and you would have wasted all the time until now if you don't, so you keep going. Maybe you do another 10, you still have no luck, you keep going, and then for some reason you have to keep going, because once you've done enough, you know that you're due to have one soon, and some people have taken that all the way up to 300 kills just to get one uber unique, when their original estimation of when they would actually get one was around 50, and that's just really, really rough. Past that, you have to think about which uber unique you actually get. All uber uniques are at least season items, but they're simply not created equally. In any serious meta build that currently exists, you will be able to use most uber uniques, but you'll have to switch stuff around, and the value that you actually get from switching stuff around is based on the power of the uber unique itself. The unique effects on about half of them are somewhat unreliable, but the affixes are pretty much always good. I would say there are three or four uber uniques that can easily slot into any build in the game, giving them pure bonus damage if you do it right. Then the rest of them are all situational, only helping some builds in some ways, or only working in niche situations because of the slots that you have to replace, but also still being strong in their own right. And the thing is, if you do all of that work to have an uber unique drop, and then you have one drop, it's exciting for at least that one moment. Then you sit there, you look at what you actually got, thinking, is there actually any build in which I would want to use this? And as you realize, that's when the dread sets in. You did all of that farming, and finally, finally, maybe even after 300 kills, had Lady Luck turn your way just to get you an uber unique that you have no interest in ever using, and it feels like you're right back at square one. And the thing is, until the recent patch, there was also roll variants on uber uniques too, meaning that you could have one drop, but if it had a low roll on the effect, that made it just far less good compared to a high roll of the same item, which also felt like a complete waste of your luck and your time. But that one was changed at least, so that's no longer an issue. But duplicate uber uniques are a thing that you can get, you can 
have more than one of the same, which means a class that can get a Haverian as an example is physically capable of having nothing but a Haverian drop. Probability wise, there will one day be a player who creates a druid or a sorcerer and on that character kills tons of uber durial, maybe let's just say 10,000 times. They get a reasonable amount of uber uniques, let's call it 200 uber uniques, which would be the average of one in 50 on 10,000 kills. And yet every single one of the uber uniques that drops for them would somehow be a Haverian, always the same one. I'm not saying this is likely, not by any means, it gets increasingly unlikely the more it happens, but it's still a possibility in the current system. Then you have the other side of it, which is someone who just kills their first Duriel and has a Shaco drop right on their head. It's all possible, and that's what RNG is really. But it just, it has made me think about this activity as a whole. The more that I farm it in search of more uber uniques, in search of cooler things that I can actually show you guys how they work, so you don't need to farm them for yourself just to know, the more that I do this, the more that it just feels like a bit of an emotionally draining experience. So the real question here is, is this a bad thing? No, not truly, not inherently, because the point of RNG and randomness is that it won't work until it does. And when it does, it feels incredible. But the problem is that because we know for a fact that we finally have a chance of getting these items from this one activity, it creates a sort of expectation that never used to exist for Uber Uniques. And then when the hopes are dashed, it actually hurts. So I guess the main question that I have then is should there be any changes to the drop rate of Uber Uniques specifically, or is this actually how it should feel? Personally, I actually feel like one in 50 kills for an average is about right. Sure, it'd be nice if it was higher just because we you know, would like to have more nice things, right? But it would also make them actually have to expect people to have multiple Uber Uniques if you did that, which in itself becomes an issue because they'd have to balance the game around Uber Uniques, which screws over every player who doesn't spend a metric shit ton of time actually farming them. And what I will say though, is I think the best thing that they could do to change this is one of two things, or maybe even both. One, remove the ability to get duplicate Uber Uniques. It made sense when they had varying roles. Now they don't, they're a set role. Once you get one, you have one, that should be it. I don't see any reason that you would ever want more than one of the same Uber Unique with the way that they work right now. And that would make it a lot better because then there's no moments of, I already have that one, ruining all of your excitement. On top of that, past that, I think we should have a bad luck protection system in place here too. Let's say for every 20 Duriel kills that you do not have an Uber Unique drop, your odds go up 100%. So for the first 20 kills, it's a 2% chance. For the second 20 kills, it's a 4% chance. After that, it goes up to 8% chance and so on. To the point where around the 80 kill mark, you are pretty much actually guaranteed to have one drop, and then when it does, it will reset the bad luck protection. Yes, those numbers would need tweaking, of course, but I think the idea of one in 50 average is good, and the numbers that I just laid out, of course, make it much higher than that as an average, but just to give you an idea of scaling bad luck protection for a drop trans like that, and how it could work. I think a lot of the system is awesome. I think it was a great addition to the game. The only bummer is when you sit down with literally 100 lots of durial spawning materials that you spend a ton of time actually gathering, and then you work through every single one of them, and after all the kills, you don't get any uber uniques. Personally, as of this point, I'm at around 200 Duriel kills, and I have gotten two uber uniques, so I am on the low end of the luck spectrum by actually a pretty big margin. But averages are averages, and that means theoretically at some point, if I keep farming, it will swing back the other direction, and I'll get a lucky streak to even it back out. I don't know how much of a big deal this is. Honestly, I don't even know how many people out there are actually farming Duriel. I know a lot of us are. The people who actually care about getting stronger definitely are, even to the point where if you can only do a couple a day, but you still do. But I don't know how far that actually extends to the more casual audience for the game. I just know that I've been doing a fair bit of this farming recently, and the more that I do, the more that I've just wanted to actually talk about the feeling of this, see what all of you guys think, and talk about if it needs any changing as a result of the emotionality of all this. What do you all think then? Of course, I fully believe that the endgame boss system, and especially Duriel with an enhanced drop rate on Uber Uniques was a good idea, and hey, last week they even did a hotfix that buffed Living Steel drop rates in Helltide, which makes it easier to farm Duriel more often. But is that enough? Did that help a significant amount? Do you like the system as a whole yourselves right now? And what do you think about the current Uber Unique drop rate that it has? Do you think it should be higher, have some form of bad luck protection? Do you think that they should get rid of duplicates? Or are you someone who would actually prefer if it goes to a bit lower of a drop rate so the devs never have to think about balancing the game around the expectation of players having Uber Uniques? Personally, I'm in the camp that the way it is right now is great, but they should add some bad luck protection and remove duplicates, at least a certain amount of bad luck protection. But I do look forward to seeing how this has changed and improved in the future. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet.
Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye